everyone, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I've got a brand new tutorial for you guys this week. It's going to be a fun one to add to your 4th of July menus. thing recently and that is that the most sold barbecue meat in America during the summer is hot dogs. Very American. So this week I wanted to show you a fun little hot dog design that I came up with last July around this time and I've been sitting on it all year and I cannot wait to show you guys. It's a great one for line work in those busy summer events because you only need two balloons. So today I'll be working with the Batalitex peach blush color and I also am cheating a little bit and I have a coveted pumpkin spice balloon which is perfect for a hot dog um, but they discontinued this color unfortunately. They do have a terracotta color but I'm not sure if you could find it in the 260 right now um, which would also be a great option. If you can't find either of these colors, uh, red or orange, anything like hot dog looking would be perfect for this design as well. So I'm going to start off just by making a simple basic one balloon dog until we get to the bun part, the fun part. So I'm going to start off with his face with just about a two inch bubble, regular twist. Squeeze a little bit and give him two ears, one and two, so twist those two bubbles together. And now you're going to want to give them a small round bubble for a neck. And I'm going to do two legs. And you want those to be a little bit longer than the ears. So there's one. Fold it up. Twist together. And get the rest of the body going back like this. Okay, at this point is where I want to bring in my bun color. I want a bun, hun. <laughs> And I'm going to take the nozzle of my peach blush balloon here and we're going to just wrap it around the top part of his legs to get that connected and push it right through the legs to lock it in. I'm going to decide how long I want my bun length to be and keep in mind how much of your hot dog balloon you have left for the two back legs and tail as well. So don't make the bun too long. So I'm going to do it about a normal size actual hot dog bun. So there's one bubble. I'm going to fold my peach blush balloon over and we're going to do another twist here. So we have two of the same size bubbles. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hot dog on top of the bun and the bun, the rest of the bun, going across the bottom here. So we're sandwiching those two bubbles that we just made and I'm going to twist those both together like that. So now we have our bun and we're almost done with our hot dog. Uh, you can get rid of this, the rest of this, if you'd like to or you can wait till you're finished with the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And all that's left is his two back legs and a tail. So try to make those back legs about the same size as the front legs if you can. And it's just two legs, you go straight into them, no space or bubbles or anything needed. Look how cute! Okay, um, if you want to, you can try to tuck the dog into the bun at the front and the back parts of it a little bit. Just kind of tuck it in there a little bit better. And then the last finishing touch for this balloon is just a puff inflated red or yellow looks great. Whatever kind of um, dog, hot dog color you're using, you just want to pick a condiment color that contrasts with that really well. So if you're using more of a red balloon, yellow would work really good for that, for the mustard. So I've just simply put the tiniest bit of air in this balloon with my mouth, tied it off so it's just puffed, um, and then I'm going to take the nozzle and we're going to wrap that around the front end here, the neck. Try to tuck any remaining tails inside your hot dog so people don't see that. And then we're just going to kind of crisscross this yellow across the back like that. When we get to the end, we're going to tuck in this tail. So wrap that around, tuck it into the hot dog, and you have your adorable little hot dog balloon. Hot dog, balloon dog. 
I love this so much. If you have enough left, you can even do a little poodle tail. And then it's a hot dog poodle. <laughs> so if you love making one balloon dogs or you've been doing simple one balloon animals for years, this is an awesome design because it's basically a one balloon dog, but we just added a bun and some mustard. Um, so it's not complicated at all. It's great for new twisters or twisters who have been doing the same designs for 30 years and maybe you want to break out into something just a little bit different and try something new. Add this one to your menu. People are going to love this, especially for the 4th of July. We love red, white, and blue for the 4th of July, but this also is a summer essential. <laughs> so I think it will do well on your 4th of July menus. And who doesn't love a design as simple as this? You don't even need to really put eyes and stuff on it unless the kids request it, but generally hot dogs don't usually have eyes. So <laughs> I'll leave that up to you guys. I've got clip art available for this little hot dog balloon dog at the Twister Sister Studio shop. You can go grab the clip art now. Um, and if you guys love this tutorial and you'd like to do more things with me, maybe you're running a balloon business and you want to get some help and support resources that are meant specifically for balloon twisting businesses to help you guys run your businesses more efficiently with less stress to save you time and ultimately help you get more bookings, check out the Twisterhood. It's our membership just for balloon artists. We put new stuff out there every single week for our members. Things like your social media graphics that you can use on your own social pages to market, uh, new member exclusive tutorials all the time, clip art with everything. You get access to all my clip art. Any video I've ever made in my life, whether it's in DVD format or a workshop or a live video, it's all in our video vault there inside the Twister Hood. There's so much Canva templates for everything. Anything you need to run a balloon twisting business more effectively is inside the Twister Hood and we'd love to have you consider joining us. The link is in the description below if you'd like to find out more. I can't wait to see your comments and hear how you guys like this design. Please post photos of your hot dog balloon dogs in our free Facebook group this week. I'll be looking to see what kind of changes you make or if you do it exactly like I did, that's fine too. I just want to see your balloon dog hot dogs filling up my Facebook feed this week and the link for that is also down below if you haven't joined us already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again next week for another free balloon animal tutorial. Bye everyone!